Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 15 in Azure Data Factory playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to delete files after completion of data movement using copy activity of ADF pipeline. So let's see everything in details. So let me go ahead. So sometimes we have such requirement to copy files, whether it can be single file or multiple files from one folder to another folder or from one container to another container in ADLS. Okay. And once this files are copied to this destination, we have to delete the source files immediately after the copy. Okay. So we have such requirements sometimes. And usually what we would have done is, uh, suppose we have multiple files that we want to copy, then what we could have done is we could have used something called get metadata activity to retrieve all the file names present inside this container or the folder. Okay. And once we get all the file names from this get metadata activity, we could have used something called for each activity and inside for each activity it would iterate through all these files and inside this for each activity we, we would copy each of these files okay using copy activity and once it is copied to the destination we could have used something called delete activity okay so in ADF pipeline we have these activities let me show you that uh, so we have something called let me create a pipeline and we have something called get metadata activity and then we have something called for each activity we will talk about each of these activities in details but let me show you uh, and then we could use copy activity and then delete activity okay so these are activities which, which would have uh, helped us to uh, delete the source files after the immediate um, completion of copy activity okay but instead of going for this long process of creating this difficult pipeline or this complex pipeline, what we can do is inside copy activity itself, we have an option called delete files after completion. Okay. So this option is usually not present in any other file formats. It is only present in uh, file format called binary. Okay. So when uh, you select binary as the source data set, then only you will see this uh, delete files after completion. Okay. So let me show you practically as well. So if I use copy activity in the uh, pipeline canvas, so in the source, if we create a data set pointing to ADLS Gen 2 and here we have multiple file formats option that we can select from. Okay, so if I select CSV file format and if I continue and let me select existing link service and let me point to any, uh, any of the files. Okay, so let me point to a CSV file present in my uh, storage account. Okay, so I'm just for the demo purpose, I have selected a dummy file and here you see there is no option called delete files after completion. Okay, so you can see there is no option called delete file after completion. And similarly, uh, I will go for another uh, file format. Let me select JSON and let me select linked service. And I'm not going to point to any file. I'm just uh, showing you the options present here. You can see uh, still we do not have that option called delete after completion. Okay. But if I create data set. Okay. That is having binary file format. Okay. And let me click on okay. So you can see now we have got something called delete files after completion. So this option is only available in binary file format. So by default, this option is false. That means it is unchecked. If you have the requirement to delete the source files after the completion of copy activity, then you can check this uh, option and it will do our job. Okay. So uh, right now this uh, data set is not pointing to any file. Let me go to ADLS account. And here I have a, uh, an old container which contains some dummy data which I don't need anymore. So I have few files here. As you can see in the test 11 Jan container, uh, I have four files. Uh, two of them are CSV format and one is XLS and another one is JSON format. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to point to any one of these files and then we will try to move it to another location and we will try to use the delete after completion option. Okay. So let me point this data set to one of those files present in test 
11 Jan container. Let me go for uh, file 1.csv and then we will select this. Okay, we have already selected this. And in the sync, uh, so if your source is a binary data set, your sync has to be a binary data set, else pipeline would fail. Okay, so let me show you practically as well. If I uh, select any other file format in ADLS Gen 2, suppose I'm going to select CSV file format for sync data set. Okay, and uh, I'm going to give the name of output container as suppose uh, test output delete container. Okay, so uh, this is our output container and let me click on OK. So if I uh, go ahead and hit on debug, let's see what happens. Okay, so you can see it is not letting me debug the pipeline and it has given some validation errors and the error is sync must be binary when source is binary data set. Okay, so this is the error which I'm talking about. So we, we cannot use any other file format when our source is a binary file. Okay, so uh, instead of CSV, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another uh, binary file format for sync and this time I'm going to point it to test output uh, delete container okay and file name it will take it um, automatically from the source so I'm leaving it blank and we are good to run the pipeline okay so let me collapse this so uh, after debugging this pipeline what we are expecting is it will uh, let me du uh, duplicate this tab so we are expecting it will copy this file1.csv to a new folder called test output delete folder okay that is going to be created on the fly and after the copy uh, it will delete this file from uh, the source folder that is test 11 jan folder so uh, till now we do not have any uh, any folder called test output delete folder okay so let's debug this and we will see both of the expected results we are getting or not so let's wait for the pipeline execution to be completed then we will check that file1.csv is copied to the new folder and it is deleted from the source folder or not yeah so copy activity has been completed let me first check if we are uh, having the new folder or not so you can see this new folder called test output delete container. Uh, this container has been created and it contains file1.csv and if I go to test 11 jan that is the source uh, container if I refresh on it you can see file1.csv has gone which means it has been deleted after completion of this copy activity. Okay. So so both of these process that is copying from source to sync as well as deleting file from the source has been done using the single copy activity. Okay. Now similarly I want to achieve this requirement for multiple files that means for all these three files in the single go. That means in a single shot it should uh, copy these three uh, files into the output folder and it should delete it from the source folders. Okay. So let's see uh, what we can do is inside this source data set I'm not going to point to any file okay it is just going to point to the container level and we can use wildcard file path and here I'm going to give star okay which means it will uh, copy all the files from the source container to sync container and in the process we will see if it is going to delete all the files or it is going to delete the entire folder okay that means test 11 folder so let's see um, I'm expecting it would delete all the files so let's see what it will do exactly and the output container is the same that means test output delete container which is this one so once we uh, run this we are expecting uh, all these three files would be moved from uh, test 11 jan container to test output delete container okay which means it will delete uh, all the files from the source so let me hit on debug and let's wait for the pipeline execution to be completed and then we will check if we are getting the expected output or not yeah so the pipeline execution has been completed let me go to the uh, output container and let me hit on refresh and let's see if all the files have been copied or not 
so you can see all the three files irrespective of what format it is has been copied to the output container and if i go to the source container you can see uh, these three files are there but if i hit on refresh let's see you can see uh, there is no file present in the source container okay so it means it has deleted all the uh, files from the source container but it has not deleted the container itself okay so the container st is still present and it has deleted all the files from the container and moved to the uh, output container which is created on the fly okay so we have seen how to use delete files after completion practically using the adf pipeline okay so let's go again to the ppt so delete files after completion indicates whether the binary files will be deleted from source data store after successfully moving to the destination store or not so once you uh, hit on the checkbox it will uh, delete the source files after moving it to the destination store okay now the second point says the file deletion is per file so when copy activity fails you will see some files have already been copied to the destination and deleted from the source while others are still remaining on the source store okay so suppose we are running the pipeline for multiple files as we have done just now by using wildcard file path then uh, in the middle if copy activity fails then uh, it may be the case that some of the files would be deleted from the source and would, it would have moved to the sink but there are some files which are still there present in the source because copy activity has failed in the middle okay so it is one of the thing that you should keep in mind while using this option okay and third point says this property is only valid in binary files uh, copy scenario okay so as we have seen the, it is not present in any other file format it is only present when you select binary as the file format in the source data set okay and uh, you cannot use any other file format in the sync when you are using binary as the source file format so uh, both of the file format should be binary that means source and sync when your requirement is to delete files after completion okay and as we discussed the default value is false uh, when you drag the copy activity you need to uh, explicitly select this option okay so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the content please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you